Hey, come in close. I want to let you in on a little secret. And I was wrong. The West Loop neighborhood in Chicago is actually the best loop. Well, I didn't believe it at first. The more and more that I've been in Chicago, the more that the West Loop has continued to blossom and grow and new developments and exciting attractions continue to move into the West Loop neighborhood. Well, it is a neighborhood that I'm actually considering maybe moving out of Lincoln Park for in the future. I love Lincoln Park. I'm gonna live here for the foreseeable future, but the West Loop is the runner up in my second favorite neighborhood here in Chicago. So this video today is gonna to answer all the questions about why you may wanna to move to the West Loop. So today we're talking about moving to the West Loop neighborhood in Chicago, your ultimate guide. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordan Pyle and I'm your go-to Chicago real estate agent. My team and I have been servicing the city of Chicago for the last 10 years and we'd be absolutely honored to help you with your real estate goals. So whether you're just thinking about a move to Chicago or specifically the West Loop, or you're planning to move here in nine, 90 days, or maybe even a year and a half, well, our team would be incredibly grateful to help you. So feel free to just text the number on the screen and a team member or myself will get in touch with you within 24 hours. Additionally, there's some great resources down in the description, but that's all I gotta say. Let's dive in to talking about the West Loop. All right, to set the tone of the video today, let's just draw up a quick table of contents so that you can understand exactly what segments or what different factors we're gonna consider in today's video if you're thinking about moving to the West Loop. We're going to cover the boundaries, then we're gonna move into the history, demographics, housing, schools, job opportunities, dining, transportation, and then lastly, if you stay to the end, we're gonna talk about some of the best things to do. So these nine topics are the nine that we're gonna dive in regarding the West Loop. All right, so starting with the boundaries of the West Loop, just so you can get your bearings. As you can see on the screen here, the West Loop is everything inside of Grand Avenue on the north side, I-290 on the south side, Ashland and Ogden on the west, and the Chicago River on the east side. So now that we've covered that, let's just talk a little bit about the rich history of the West Loop. Today, the West Loop has developed quite a reputation for two distinct things. Number one, it is an absolute foodie haven. And number two, it has become a tech and business mecca, not only just here in Chicago, but also in the United States. You have a lot of large corporations here, such as McDonald's, Google, things like that, that actually are housed in the West Loop, which has led to its boom over the last decade. However, if we're gonna rewind the clock and talk about what the West Loop used to be like, well, let's draw it back to the mid 1800s. In the mid 1800s, the West Loop became a hub for the produce and meat packing industries. The Fulton Randolph Market District has a rich history as one of the oldest Chicago wholesale markets. And in the 1850s, the area was separated into two markets with Randolph Street Market Hall providing a home for produce sales and Fulton Street providing meat packing services and sales. As these areas grew, related businesses began to pop up like barrel manufacturers, then general manufacturing made the area its home as well. Additionally, the low rise manufacturing buildings of the meatpacking era became a draw for condo developers and restauranteurs in the early 2000s who favored its unobstructed views of the Chicago skyline. The immigrants looking for work sought out the West Loop as a place to earn a living. So to continue progressing forward, fortunes fell for the West Loop during the Great Depression and it brought industry and production to a standstill. Generational poverty set in, and by the 50s and 60s, West Loop became known as Skid Row. The area was filled with homeless men in the winters, as many as 15,000, and post-World War II, servicemen with PTSD. You know, obviously in these type of situations, you get a lot of alcoholism and other things that run rampant in the area, as well as crime. So you may ask, what put an end to Skid Row? Well, money, of course. Developers saw an opportunity to profit and pitched an idea to the city to develop a self-contained community in the West Loop called Presidential Towers. Presidential Towers are a residential community which is still vibrant to date and it still exists. The city responded warmly giving the private developers $180 million in federally tax-exempt city bonds and the Federal Housing Authority gave them an additional $159 million federally insured mortgage. So soon after, in 1988, one dynamic woman who you probably know made the final difference in the West Loop's revival. Can you guess it? Oprah Winfrey and her Harpo Studios. Oprah opened her production company Harpo Studios at 1058 West Washington, and it served as both the headquarters of her television empire and a production studio. From January 1990, which is the year I was born, by the way, until 2011, the Oprah Winfrey show was shot at Harpo Studios. Fast forward, the studio was sold in 2014 and demolished, making way for McDonald's newest headquarters, which opened in July of 2018. So that's just some of the details and the rich history of the West Loop neighborhood here in Chicago. We could go, you know, 
three, five, 10, 15 more minutes on this topic, but I wanna make sure that we get in to some of the more important things that you're probably thinking about when you're considering a move to the West. So let's start with the demographics. Today, according to niche.com, the neighborhood gets a grade of a B plus based on ethnic and economic diversity. And based on people who live in the area, the two words they use to describe the neighborhood are friendly and progressive. And based on my experience of spending time in the West Loop, this is also something that I would agree with. The median household income in the West Loop is 127,000 and some change, which is almost double the national average of 69,000. You also have 45% making over $150,000 per year, 33% between 75,000 and 150,000, and the remaining 20% of the population under 75,000 a year. So it's safe to say with the West Loop booming over the last decade, it's going to cost you a pretty penny to live in the West Loop. However, in my opinion, it's absolutely worth it. Additionally, as you can see on the screen, you can see the gender makeup being close to evenly split between males and females. 87% have education levels of bachelor's degree or higher, with the largest age range at 37%, it's between 25 and 34 years old. And then also 96% of the population is either white, Asian, Hispanic, or black. Next up, housing, which is my favorite part. And as a reminder, if you have any questions about your real estate goals, or if my team and I can assist you and help in those goals, just feel free to text the number on the screen and we'll get you taken care of. According to Redfin, the median sales price of a home in West Loop came in at 506,000, which is up 1.3% year over year. So yes, folks, even though you hear about all the doom and gloom in the housing market with interest rates being almost at 8%, there not being any inventory in the country. Well, these are all very valid points. However, you still see home values remain either constant or slightly increasing year over year, largely being driven by the lack of inventory. But just to give you an example, you know, if you're on the fence thinking, should I buy, should I rent, should I just wait and see what happens? But for anyone that took action and actually bought last year, just to give you a, a very simple example, they actually made over $6,500 in annual appreciation year over year. So if they bought a property for 506,000 last year, it's now worth upwards of 512,500. And that's just, you know, a, a loose example. Obviously there's a lot of different factors that go into that. But when you combine uh, principal pay down on the mortgage and then you have tax benefits as well as general appreciation of the area, Area, these are a lot of the reasons that people, even despite all the doom and gloom in the market and all the doom and gloom in the world these days, despite that, these are the reasons why people continue to buy real estate because real estate home values are typically up and to the right. Also a point of reference is the median sales price per square foot in the West Loop, which is at $393, which is down 1.7% since last year. Lastly, the average days on market for listings in the West Loop came in at 57 days, so just under two months. From the rental side of things, the median price of all currently available listings is $3,000 a month, or roughly $32 per square foot. Lastly, on the housing note, I wanna give a shout out to my brother from another mother, a mentor of mine, and a colleague of mine at Compass, Mark Ikes, and he is the exclusive representative selling out one of the nicest luxury, uh, boutique building new developments in the city called Embry by Sulo Development. If you're looking for a luxury condo in the West Loop in a boutique building, Embry is by far the top choice. So as you can see on the screen here, here are just some of the examples of some of the residences of Embry. And this is in the running for the best new development in the entire city. So if you're looking for a luxury condo in the West Loop, I have exclusive access. You can call my buddy Mark, get you in for a sales presentation and see if it could be a good fit. All right, moving on, let's talk about schools. And I wanna to go to schools next because a lot of the reasons why people ultimately choose a neighborhood to live in is being driven, especially for families, by where their kids are gonna to go to school. And West Loop has two top schools in the entire city. So from pre-K to eighth grade, you have Skinner Elementary, which comes in at a ranking at nine out of 10. And then you have Young Magnet High School, which comes in at a 10 out of 10. So if you're thinking about moving to the West Loop from a school standpoint, well, you have two great options for your children. Just for reference, these rankings are based on test scores, student and academic progress, college readiness and equity. All right, next up on the list, we're gonna talk about job opportunities. And if you're moving to the West Loop, well, one of the main reasons you're probably moving there, especially if you're moving from out of state, is because you have a job opportunity in the West Loop. The West Loop is home to some of the largest companies in the entire world, and a lot of them having their headquarters here. Some companies such as the Google headquarters, you have SRAM, Dyson, Accenture, Boeing, McDonald's, Mondelez International, AKA the maker of Oreos, the best cookie in the entire world. So, you know, that, that has to give us some credit here and many more, you know, all jokes aside, the West Loop is home to a ton of corporations, a ton of new businesses, uh, tech companies, and really they're moving here because this business and this tech scene has become booming 
over the last decade. And so if you're looking for that type of environment, you're looking for something that is going to allow you to uh, network and to build community and be able to have a lot of colleagues around you that are also in the business and tech scene, well, West Loop is one of those examples. So lastly, from a job opportunity standpoint, maybe you already have a job offer, but maybe you're considering moving to Chicago without a job and you're actually gonna be looking for a job once you get here. And if that's the case, in any of these companies that I just mentioned on this list, I have friends and past clients that work at most of these companies. So if I could put in a good word for you, I'd be more than happy to. Just feel free to reach out. Uh, you could text that same number that I've been putting up on the screen, or you can just reach out in the comments below and we'll get back to you. All right, so I know I, I saved this for later in the video, but dining in the West Loop is probably one of the other main reasons why people love the West Loop so much. And maybe this isn't even just for somebody that's living in the West Loop, but if you're visiting, you gotta check out West Loop and specifically Randolph Row. Randolph Street in the West Loop, popularly known as Restaurant Row, features dining options for all shapes, sizes, and just remember, Instagram always eats first. So just to name a few, and I'll leave the website link in the description below, just so you can check these restaurants out in more detail. But if you want Italian, you can check out Monteverde. Maybe you're in a Mediterranean mood, you can go to Rosemary. If you want American food, JP Graziano Grocery and Sub Shop, Au Cheval, which is known for their incredible burger, as you can see here on the screen. That, yes, is about a half inch slab of bacon, and it's absolutely delicious, so you gotta check that out. And then just to name some others, you have Oriol, Travoli Tavern, Abba, Girl and the Goat, The Publican, Green Street Smoked Meats, Momotaro, Bar Siena, Swift and Sons, Beatrix, and the list goes on and on. And I don't know about you, but my mouth is watering at this point because I haven't eaten yet today. So as you can see here on the little map on the screen and all the different plotted points, I mean, there's just a plethora of restaurant options, dining options. So whatever you're looking for, rest assured, you're gonna find it in the West Loop. All right, so to quickly touch on transportation, I'm not gonna go super into detail, but it's important to note, West Loop has a walk score of 96 out of 100, has a transportation score of 100 out of 100, and this is mainly for public transportation and then a bike score of 86 out of 100. What is also nice about the West Loop is you are close to Union Station for public transit, the expressway, as well as being just west of the city center in the Loop and River North. All right, so the last section is just a little bit more fun now. So now we're gonna be talking about things to do in the West Loop. Well, one of the things you can do is you can go shopping and I wanna give another shout out to my buddy Ugi uh, that runs a store and owns a store called Sovereign in the West Loop. And so if you're into the you know upscale lifestyle and accessory brands, you know whether it be shoes or clothing, well, you gotta go check out Sovereign. It's, it's spelled S-V-R-N. And if you go, ask for Ugi and then tell him I sent you. All right, so before we finish up, I'm just gonna rattle off some additional things to do in the West Loop, which I've personally done most of these things. And there are, there's so many more things that you can also do on top of this. So if you wanna check out summer festivals at Union Park, maybe you wanna go for an arcade night, you can check out Emporium. If you're into indoor rock climbing, this is super fun, I've done it multiple times. Uh, you can go to Brooklyn Boulders. If you're a film buff, you may wanna check out Union Station. Obviously you have Randolph Street and you have Randolph Street Market Festival. If you're in for some late night fun, you may wanna go check out a bar called Money Gun. If you're a bookie like I am, you can go to Open Books. And then Wineheads, you can check out City Winery. Putt-Putt, you can go to Puttery, which is actually the kind of a new age, like modern day putt-putt, and literally so much more. So that wraps things up. So you tell me, is the West Loop really cracked up to be what everyone says it is? And I think so. So do us a favor and comment, like, and subscribe to this video. Turn on notifications so you can catch all of our future videos and you're the first to know about all things living, working, playing in Chicago. And if we can help you with your real estate goals, we'd be honored. Just text the number on the screen and a team member or myself will get in touch within 24 hours. All right, thanks so much. I hope this has been valuable. If it has, show the love and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.